Hello Sagittarius. Thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. We're going to do a love reading for you. The astrology half of this will be in a link in the description below. I did a write up for astrology and you can check also the May forecast with the astrology companion at the website. Uh, that link will take you to there. But let's begin with your love reading. I haven't done this for a long time and I think I should start doing it every month now. It felt good up to now. You're the next. Cards have been pre-shuffled to save time. Let's begin. Overall energy is going to be the Ten of Wands. The Page of Wands. Queen of Wands. Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Two of Swords, Six of Cups, Eight of Swords at the heart of your reading with the Page of Cups, Two of Cups, the High Priestess, King of Cups, Strength, and Death. You know how I can tell it's spring? That King of Cups comes up in all the readings. And that's the King of Love. Uh, we got in a foundation, a transformation here. And the High Priest, the Page of Wands, the Two of Swords. So we have a message coming in. Uh, perhaps one that will help you make a difficult decision. Or a message that uh, puts you in a position where you have to make a difficult decision. This is like the past returning, someone from the past returning or a situation, <clears throat> a, a cycle that's repeating. The Queen of Wands talks about confidence. That's my entrepreneur card. And I do feel a lot of Sagittarius energy in that, even though I know that's an Aries card. You're walking away. It's almost like you're procrastinating on this decision. Perhaps because you've got the energy of the Queen of Wands, that you're just biding your time to see how it plays out. She's really good at delegating to others too. What you, Whoever's coming with this message to put you in a position of decision is something that it looks like some something that someone else should have done, but it's going to be left in your lap to deal with. <clears throat> Now, it could be your soulmate is doing this, which the situation makes, uh, well, puts you in a funny position. Like a damned if you do and damned if you don't. You are going to walk away from whatever this energy is, though, Sagittarius. You can't, it's almost like a, I can't be bothered with this. I deal with it. It's not my issue. Or your decision whether you're going to assist or not. It just feels like it's it's not really supposed to be in your lap. Um, this, this might sound cold, Sagittarius, about you walking away and saying, look, not my problem. But you are in the midst of creating this new reality perhaps it's in how you deal with your relationships now someone loved you very very much that king of cups that's wisdom strength depth of emotions and the high priestess so we've got pisces scorpio energy we have strong deep water emotion as well as upper consciousness higher realms and this is one powerful connection the strength card courage maybe it takes courage for you to walk away from a situation or to make that decision to walk away from a situation now, this could be the death of a relationship, but looks more like a transformation or something that you are dealing with inwardly and not being held back by 
uh, semantics in order to move forward on your own journey. We got you laying down your burdens. You're saying, look, I've been responsible long enough and I've been doing your jobs too. I'm delegating them back to you. And it transforms that energy into, well, let's see. Let's clarify these. Two of Wands, the crossroads, decision made. And it's a weary one, one that makes you weary, but this is a burden you're going to lay down. Hermit. Left brain thinking, logic, finding your way with a solution. You know, this almost looks like Sagittarius. You, you, you could be saying to your partner that, look, I can give you suggestions and, and advice. Well, that's what he does. Perhaps he's giving you the suggestions and advice. And you're having to take this on alone. But perhaps you are delegating in a way that is accepting of help that you didn't accept before. A lot of logic going on here. But this this light the hermit carries through the left part of the brain actually comes from the right part of the brain. It's fed from source. Manifestations, opportunities that manifest, that help you along your path. The world ending a cycle. You know, yeah, done with that nonsense. Ready for the new path that begins here. So someone's watching you. Again, I get that feeling that this is something that only you can do or only your partner can do and you can't help them accept an advice. Um, it could be, you know, like having to accept a job somewhere. Yes, it affects your partner, but ultimately your, your choice. And all they can do is watch advise this this is a sense of quiet here as you're walking away someone watching you walk away from this this is also about a message that's coming in quickly to help so i'm getting that energy of advice wow what in the frig look at that two of swords clarifying the two of swords so what's going on sagittarius is this about something that the both of you have to decide and one is not picking up the slack and it feels like a sense of loss because perhaps this is a co cycle codependent thing and in the past there was loss but those five of coins are actually still there for you it's not a loss at all and unless you don't turn and look which you are walking away here so take a moment here Saj whatever this is that's making you feel stuck and you wanting to shake it off you're you're near the finish line here like don't give up now don't give up now final battle on the horizon for the win now we've gone from creating this new reality to uh, the Queen of Cups, which is emotional, a sense of emotional turmoil. It's also about intuition, intuitively creating this new reality and pay attention to your dreams because that's at the heart. Pay attention to the dreams you're having lately. You might find the answer there. The tower. So you're going through something with a mate, with love. And for you single ones, you're dealing with something that has been holding you back from this energy of finding the one. <clears throat> I like it when these two fall together. This has happened before, but it's such a lovely energy. The balance of colors. We have pillars in the, both both visuals, the scales, and the the evenness of creation and knowledge. Her feet on the world. So not only is it <clears throat> the upper realms of the feeding of 
uh, source into that right brain. But bring in that left brain, right brain to balance is achieved. Now you must understand too, the tower, it's always it looks so ominous, but this could be because every everybody's getting this card all the time now. And I think that is because of what we're going through on a global scale, how it is affecting relationships, how it's affecting families. Um, but the tower has to come down in order to build on a solid foundation. This this foundation was faulty. So you're either going to go back to square one with your mate to rebuild, follow your intuition, pulling on your strength. Look at this. This person loves you so much, Sag. Here's your mate. Absolute love, loyal, wise. And I like the King of Cups for giving space too. Maybe that's been part of the issue. Honey, this is not the time for you to give me space. I need your input on this. But this person that's in your life or coming into your life, Sag, uh, this is an immediate at the time of the reading for you is bringing that fulfillment back into the home helping you come back to that balance of the left the right the upper the lower let's clarify strength it's a dilemma for you isn't it what's with all these these are opportunities or things happening, events happening that you're having to wade through intuitively in creating, saying yes to this and no to that. This is about choosing wisely, uh, not letting that beast get loose and out of control unless it absolutely has to. We have the infinity sign. So again, we're seeing balance. It looks like there's a lot of events that are coming your way to complicate where you are ending a cycle here confident that in what you're doing going forward but there's this this annoying decision that needs to be made there's the completion that transition this does feel like death you know maybe someone uh, you know is dying um, but death is transformation. Ten of Swords is completion where all of your past hurts and pains and tragedies um, through experience, knowledge becomes wisdom. And this is the completion. Those swords actually protect you. Got you looking like a porcupine, but you have the wisdom now. And the flower that's growing. It's violet in color. Looks like a gladiola. But the violet is of the uh, the crown chakra. Being so it's like tying up loose ends. There's a cycle ending. And it finally ends here in transitions. But there's something of a nuisance here. Something that is getting in the way with love between you and your mate. What you thought you lost or are losing, you are not. Because what is being created. It's like ripping off the band-aid to heal. Because look. With the tower on the soulmates, bringing to balance. Balance, balance, decision, there's a two, and completion. Now, with this overall energy here, with the ten of wands and... So, it's like this cycle right from the beginning has already ended. You've gained everything that you want, but... There's this annoying leftover 
have to scrape off the plate. Perhaps you're planning on a trip and there's some delays. We have a lot of divine feminine energy in this. Uh, strong masculine energy too. Yeah, There's a nice balance there in spite of all of that. Those messages, it does look well balanced. So if you feel like you're walking a bit of a tightrope when it comes to love, well, use your Sagittarius energy of patience and perseverance. You're going to fight your way out of that one last battle to completion, laying down those burdens. But boy, that's where you're headed. This is what you deserve, this undying love and fulfillment in the home. And that's what you're transitioning from or into. A lot of strength, a lot of paths. Choose wisely. It, my advice would be bite your tongue let things unfold naturally overall not too bad Sag check out the uh, astrology half of this reading it's in a link in the description below to give you a better idea though I think it's in for the month of June looking ahead to see how this pans out yeah I hope that helped Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye for now. Oh, and I forgot to say, please subscribe and thank you to those who have been with me a long time. Bye.